Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we'll talk about nanotechnology and nanoparticles. So let's get started. So we'll talk about types of nanomaterials in this video. So there are two distinct types of nanomaterials as you can see on your screen, which is the organic nanomaterials and we have the inorganic nanomaterials. So these nanomaterials can be classified into different types according to their size, morphology, phys uh, physical and chemical properties. So under organic nanoparticles, we have carbon nanoparticles, micelles, dendrimers, liposomes, hybrid and compact polymeric NPs. Also under inorganic nanoparticles, we have ceramic nanoparticles, we have quantum dots, we have metal oxide nanoparticles and different types of metal oxide you can see here, silicon oxide, titanium oxide, zinc oxide and we have many others. And also we have metal nanoparticles such as silica and gold nanoparticles as well. So these are the two different types of nanoparticles that we have here which is organic and inorganic nanomaterials. So talking about the organic nanoparticles. So this particular organic nanoparticle, so one of the nano, uh, organic nanoparticle is the carbon based nanoparticle so which has a size of about 0.5 to 3 diameter and 20 to 1000 nanometer in length so all are in nanometers also these are this produce or this gives high strength and electrically conductive in nature also includes allotropes of carbon and carbon nanotubes tolerances also there are one of the example of carbon based nanoparticle which is the carbon nanotubes or cnt so cnt stands for carbon nanotubes and we have another which is uh, nano wires so graphene sheets with hexagonally shaped arrangements of carbon atoms rolled into a elongated tube or which we can say as 1d cylindrical nanoparticles so one of the examples is cnt of carbon based nanoparticles so moving with that, so some of the other organic nanoparticles we have is the Michelle and polymeric Michelle's. So Michelle's, as you can see, the structures of Michelle's are given here, so which are pretty much spherical and which have bindings around them. Also a self-assembled nanostructure, nanostructure which has about 10 to 100 nanometers made up of amphiphilic, amphiphilic molecules. Also CMC which is a critical Michelle concentration so which defines all these Michelles. Also we have a smart drug carrier which is hydrophobic core which allows high drug payload entrapment, biostability and targeted specific drug delivery. So these are some of the terms that are uh, important in Michelle and polymeric Michelles. Also some of the factors which affect these Michelles are hydrophobic groups, electrolyte, temperature. All right so what we studied in this is the size of these michelles and we have critical michelle concentration so we can see the binding and all of it which comes under the critical michelle concentration then we have the smart drug carrier which is the hydrophobic core so this is the core which allows high drug payload entrapment biostability and targeted specific drug delivery so which is the this middle part of the hydrophobic core is also termed as the smart drug carrier point so and we have the also done the factors so talking about the third part which is the polymeric nanoparticles or pnp so particulate dis uh, dispersions or solid particles with size in the range of 10 to 1000 nanometers also made entirely of natural and synthetic or semi-synthetic polymers such as examples such as Polylactic acid or PLA, we have polyglyconic acid PGA, we have polylactic and glyconic acid and we have polymethyl metacrylate. So these are some of the materials uh, through which these polymeric nanoparticles are made which comes under organic nanoparticles. And we have another uh, lipid based nanoparticle which comes under organic nanoparticles so which is which contains the lipid moieties. So all the fat and lipid moieties are together assembled in lipid based nanoparticles also spherical these are spherical with diameters ranging from 10 to 1000 nanometers also it possesses a solid core made of lipid and a matrix containing soluble lipophilic molecules also it is effectively using in you or used in many biomedical applications such as drug delivery and cancer therapy so this has a lot of medical advantages 
and practical advantages as well. It, it is used in drug delivery as well as in treating cancers. So talking about the inorganic nanoparticles now, which is the ceramic nanoparticle. So this particular ceramic nanoparticle is an inorganic non-metallic nanoparticle, which has a size of about 50 nanometers, which is made up of oxides, carbides, carbonates, and phosphates. Some of the examples are nanocrystalline, calcium sulfate, silica, alumina, titania, zirconia, silicon nitrate, silicon carbide. Also, it is synthesized via heat and successive cooling. So this is the process of making these ceramic nanoparticles. So these are made via heat and successive cooling. Also, these can be found in amorphous, polycrystalline and dense porous or hollow forms. So these are these can be found in many other forms. As you can see, these are present in amorphous, polycrystalline and dense porous forms. And some of the applications or real life application includes photocatalysis, photo degradation of dyes, drug delivery and imagine, uh, imaging. Pardon. So drug delivery is uh, the common point in all of the cases as you can see and all of the in all, whether it be inorganic or organic nanoparticles. So drug delivery plays a very important role uh, in case for nanoparticles. So talking about the another type of inorganic nanoparticle which is the metal nanoparticles. So these uh, metal nanoparticles are, are made up of gold, silver, platinum, platinum, silica and different types of metals which produces colonial nanoparticle solution, colloidal pardon. So these are made up of uh, produces colloidal nanoparticle solutions with highly ordered and rigid three dimensional arrangements of covalently linked atoms. So these are pretty much as you can as we have studied about three dimensional arrangements of covalent uh, linked atoms in your previous class you must know about these and all the colloid, uh, colloidal nanoparticle solution you have heard about the term colloidal in your chemistry uh, classes in your junior classes as well also these nanoparticles can be synthesized by chemical electrochemical or photochemical methods also the uh, they possess unique optoelectrical properties due to localized surface plasmon resonance i hope you have studied this also so i'll discuss i'll make another video on which i'll discuss some of the key terms in which uh, all of the i'll use the key terms in which uh, the entire course is made up of and i'll all and i'll accumulate all the keywords which needs to be uh, shed light on so i'll very soon make a video on these and I'll discuss about these terms in detail such as surface plasmon resonance, the colloidal NP solutions and we have many other terms. So I'll find and collect all of these terms at once and I'll make a video very soon. So and lastly we have another inorganic nanoparticle which is the quantum dots which we call as semiconductor nanoparticles. So you can see uh, this is the ultraviolet light off and this is the light on. So when the ultraviolet rays fall upon the quantum dots, so these quantum dots emit light and when the ultraviolet rays are off, these dots do not emit anything which is very obvious and when these are on, these emit light. So these are measured on uh, the scale as you can see, these are measured on the nanometers depending on the factor on the range. So 10 to the power 4 is the white blood cell, we have 10. 10 which is the nano devices and 10 to the power minus 1 which is the water molecule so this is how we calculate all of these so let's just keep this video till here hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching